The word disabled athlete, I absolutely hate it. I don't look at myself as disabled at all. I have a disability. Everybody in this world has a disability of some sort, but you're only disabled if you believe you are. I'm just an athlete that needs a couple extra tools. <laughs> this great big story was made possible by Geico. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. My competitive history started out on a BMX bike when I was like 13 years old, which quickly evolved into motocross and then got into racing snowmobiles. At the peak of my pro career, I had finished fourth place in the national championship series. I had landed on the podium a handful of times. In 2008, during a qualifying race in Northern Michigan, I was thrown from my machine, which caused a compound fracture that severed the main artery that feeds my lower leg. It was apparent three days later that uh, amputation was the only way to basically save my life. I was floored. I mean, I, I didn't see it coming at all. My profession and livelihood is to be racing a snowmobile or a dirt bike. You know, initially I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm going to be done racing. I'm going to be done competing. But about five weeks after the injury had happened, I got to try out my new prosthetic leg. The first leg that I got, it worked okay for walking. It was really basic mechanical leg. I actually got on my snowmobile within a, a week or so of getting it and right away understood that, yeah, this leg is definitely not going to be the ticket for me to get back into the sports that I love. I was presented with this problem. Basically, I needed to absorb impact with my leg like my quadricep muscles do. I know suspension components from the dirt bikes and snowmobiles, so I'm looking at this as a suspension component. I need a shock, a spring, and a frame to hold it all and make it move in the directions I need it to move. You know, I drew on it for about five weeks or so, just pencil sketches and pages and pages of designs. And then from there, I went to the shop and started cutting parts. I had all the pieces and assembled it, put it on my leg, and then immediately went over to my dirt bike and went for a ride. Seven months after my accident, I was racing dirt bikes on a leg that I built in my garage. The original Moto Knee was developed for me to get back on my dirt bike. And that summer, after meeting a whole bunch of other amputees, I realized that there's so many other people that could utilize the equipment I was working on. So I started thinking about creating a company around it. The coolest part about what I'm doing is it allows me to continue to be an athlete. So I do all the testing on the racetrack and the practice track, which gets me into a lot of new stuff as well, like snowboarding. Turns out I got pretty good at it. I enjoyed it. I got talked into competing for the first time. And that evolved into traveling around the world on the World Cup tour and earning my spot on the uh, 2018 Paralympic snowboard team and won a gold medal in border cross and a silver medal in bank slalom. You know, I'm, I'm a nine-time X Games gold medalist between adaptive racing and dirt bike snowmobiles and now snow bikes. You know, I've kind of reached my goals with all that. So this year I'm going to step it up a notch and I'm going to try and qualify into the pro snow bike race. I'll tell you what, it really sucks to be an amputee sometimes, but uh, there's so many different amazing things that I've been able to experience since my injury happened. I'm making the most of the situation and I'm still living life to the fullest.